Family Parable. Hello, everybody watching this on the VOD channel. Are you sleeping well? Wake up. Wake up. This is not a drill. This is real. Okay, I need you to focus. Playing another new game tonight. Choose screen subtitle language. Japanese, where is that? I'm just gonna go English. English is easier for everybody in chat. That would be funny if I did choose French. <laughs> Play it in French, okay. I don't wanna laugh the whole time. No. Let me know how this volume sounds. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Light on, light off, light on, light off. About there. Can I make a prediction, Doc? Sure. Please enter the current time. It is 9.33 p.m. Can I type in 33? No. Turn it up for your stream and YouTube or not. Turning volume up. There we go. Turned it up. 9.33. Confirm. Oh, the brightness. Can I change that later? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are we in an office? Is it like an office simulator? Uh oh. Did I stretch it? Oh, it's good. Okay, cool. Holy typing. How bright is it for you guys? There we go. Wait, background opacity. I think it looks good, right? Ah, looks good. Probably, probably good. Begin game. This Click is the skip. story of a man named Stanley. Is good? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. Get bad posture. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to <laughs> him through a monitor at his desk. Me. Telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day. I don't look like this. Of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. It's the same job. It's kind of what I'm doing. Something very peculiar happened. You guys are telling me what buttons push. Something would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never Sad. in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his Whoa. desk and stepped out of his office. Holy sensitivity. Gotta turn that shit down. All right, pencils. The disappearances of all my coworkers. Wait, why is clicking a sound off a keyboard? You can't jump, no, seriously, we disabled it? I got an achievement already? I mean... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had tried it, though. Memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <laughs> Who farted? <laughs> like... <laughs> All right, computer off. Don't say me after that. And it's not something you're supposed to claim, guys. Silly goose. 
Cut those computers off, baby. Be my Valentine. Who are getting these mugs? This looks abandoned. I don't like the I don't like the vibes. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Dude, okay. Well, let me explore a little bit of video game. I hate Mondays. I farted. I hate Mondays. Who's my Valentine? Wanted chat for GF. When Stanley came to a set of oh. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What happens if I go to the right? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, sorry, I was just trying to see what happened. Okay, door closed. I feel kind of devious. I don't want to follow your directions. Touch everything. <sighs> Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> Can I not get a drink? A letter. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating, that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously <clears throat> vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Is the game making fun of me? What does that say? Does that say the gays? At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected Dude, poorly on his to, overall personality. Try to read it's this. It's possible that this is why everyone left. That says the gays. Never has been mean. I... <laughs> I dad. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Number one dad. <laughs> Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Okay, I guess I'll go. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Nah, bitch. Stanley was so bad at following <laughs> directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Trolling this narrator. Getting trolled. Dude, I wish I could jump. I can crouch, but I can't jump. Can I jump off? <gasps> but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Fuck! <laughs> Did it reach? His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? You restarted. Stanley me. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, I guess I found one bad ending. Bro, I'm in the simulation and I'm breaking the simulation. When Stanley nope. came to a set of two nope. open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting I know. room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. This is a room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I am the simulation. It's tempting. It looks like that one CSGO map. High rise or some, I don't know. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Penalty of misuse for cargo lift. Car don't go lift, they go beep. A thousand. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, five thousand. It's crazy that you get a bigger penalty for jumping off. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I'm There's so confused. What is this? Stanley, someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm going to continue now, to do I'm this. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Oh, it's a woman? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. 
to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Bro, I am so madly confused. I don't think I was supposed to get anything yet, so that's okay. Dark hallway. Oh. Whoa! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Is this my subconscious? 427, blue hallway. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. That's I okay, honey. I the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Get your day on. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? Yeah. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Joke's on you, narrator. I'd still smash it. That's what's crazy. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Fuck! I really thought I was going to defy him again. Fuck. Hey, honey. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. My name's... Stan... What? Good morning, employee 427. Press X on your keyboard. Nah, I don't take orders from any of you. Just my loving wife right here who's built like a fucking truck. How about I press any other key other than X? Nothing works. I love you, honey. Goodbye. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. Oh. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press and release Y. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I'm not a play toy, bro. He's messing with me. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Oh, okay, that's sad. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Am I spelling anything else out, by the way? X, J, Y, X, Y, J, I? I don't know. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. L. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths. Oh, I didn't even notice this at first. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Press Q to tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press O to tell your wife that you love her. <laughs> I love you. But there is no answer. Oh. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. That's so me. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Let me out of here. Be to go back to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. 
that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I... Should I... I don't... No. It's reverse psychology. It's reverse psychology. Guys, it is like Lewis. I'm not doing it. I won't do it. I'll stay here forever if I have to. I'll be here for 30 years. I don't care. Actually, I'm going to push another button. No. I guess I had no choice. The mundane sound of the clock ticking is making me uncomfortable. Have you tried stripping? Well, I don't have feet, so... You see? Can he just not hear me? Dude! How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? It's like the narrator talking to you guys. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? He to question nothing. I want to get out of this fucking room. <laughs> Whatever. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time... And I tried again. Please and die. Pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. What? What? The fuck? That same like sound and cut off is the, is how it feels when your monitor and your PC dies. So I like convince myself that I uh. Had a PC die, crash. All of his co-workers were gone. What the what fuck? Did mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, that said, I farted before. It says number one dad. I had. Oh, I hate Mondays. They're just swapping the mugs. They're different. Wait, what's this one? I just like work. I just hate my boss. That's crazy mug. No more computers. Who farted? A waiting input. Input received? Okay, cool. It's a weird trippy day at the office, man. Nope. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Doing and it Stanley again. Knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Is this going to take me to the same loot? A Oop. work of art. What? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I'm going to do it again. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the road. Is he going to loop through the same exact thing? I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. I'm going to kill, I'm going to jump off. you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. <laughs> This is it, Stanley. 
Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Ah. I'm gonna kill myself real quick. But in his eagerness to prove <laughs> that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Okay, fascinating. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Go left this time. When Finally. Stanley came to a set no, of two right. open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Fuck the narrator. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing I do what I want. Incredible room, Stanley for the f but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I'll go this way this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Now we go down. We go down. Yes. Woo! Plunge attack fails. <laughs> But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> from here, it's, um, left. That door, or maybe I don't. Maybe I try other doors. Maybe you're lying to me. I still have no idea what's going on here, bro. Oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. No, 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 oh no. Oh my right. god. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Take your time. Let's see. We went down right, left, down, <laughs> okay. left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely definitely this way. I want to go left. I'm going to try those doors again. Why is that car on? Stop. Don't follow. That scared me. I mean, follow. Thank you. That scared me. Thank you for the follow. What the hell? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. No. Okay, okay. okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh. Employee fire? Am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm. Okay. From the top. Bro. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Is bro seeing every aspect of my life? I don't know what this is. When Stanley... Wait. Oh. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, no, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Breaking Everything the fourth wall. Be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all yeah, the monsters? Yeah, bitch. My did game you move now. the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. <laughs> this guy is okay, off then. something. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. We don't get away from the path we originally took. It's like the back rooms, man. It's not like gonna jump scare me. Like, what the hell do I do? It's a fucking maze. Huh? Huh? What? This is the actual back rooms. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can <laughs> promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... What? Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh, no, no, no. What is this game? 
This game is brain bending. All of his co workers were gone. Oh my <laughs> god. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What does that mug say? Smile? It's different again. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> okay. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Hmm. Any fake wall doors here? It's got to be easily the most trippy game I've ever played so far because I don't know what we're getting at. I'm all, it's just to prove I'm in that simulation, I guess. Oh, spill coffee. That's not supposed to be there. Maybe it was always there and I just missed it. Surname access. Who farted? <laughs> Surname access. Don't forget that. Surname access. Aha. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way Dude. and retrace our steps. Bro. What? The fuck? What? Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't I think so. I don't know so. where I'm at, man. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? <laughs> Who are well, you? Know you? What? Since I've completely forgotten <laughs> what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Woo! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, go. good job. Thanks. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. I literally Some did. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. I deceived you. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Here we go again, bro. The Stanley Parable right. Adventure I've Line. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. <laughs> Just follow the line. Nope. How simple is that? Nope. Will not take orders from a mythical man in my head. Will not. Deviate. Computer's off. Goodbye, magic man. I think you're gonna be real pissed about this, aren't you? No, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. The line trademark? Oh. <laughs> The actual line. I, gotta, I have no choice. Okay, I gotta. He killed everyone. Computer off. I can't turn solitaire off. Guess you can't stop the solitaire grind, can you, huh? You can't turn that shit off. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Have you guys ever wanted to put your Here's ass your cheeks on this and print? Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, no? are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct what is bro of saying? one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. What? Now if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office in fact the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? 
I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, <laughs> this fern will be very important <laughs> later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Is this a fern? All right, we got moss, fern, one far out branch, one far out branch, two up top. Okay, got it. Da, 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 da. Wait, look, we're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking the for the Stanley Parable, right? The line's all fucked up. The story? <gasps> Is any of this ringing a bell? What the f... They got all fucked up. Which way do I go? Did I come from here? Oh! Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And Fired. After we trusted you. After <clears throat> everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. What was that top left one? You used to have a friend named Gully till Finn ate it. <laughs> you named it Gully? Aw. You guys get attached to your plants? You know what, Stanley? I what? say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're Amen. intelligent people, right? Yeah. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? What if I don't wanna? Now. Yes, <laughs> this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. I'm going back. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. What is this winding, man? I'm back at the start. little piece lily on my desk named roger i've never thought about naming a plant also i've never had a plant so that might be why i've never named a plant oh yeah you like plants so much name five plants oh no oh, not you again boy stanley i'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story no lines or monitoring. Trademarks. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. I'm going to follow the line now. I trust the line more than I trust you. It's having more fun. <laughs> Best not to get attached to something that will die. That's just everything. What are you talking about? Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Our? How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Our? In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. No. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted <gasps> reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? 
And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. No, 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 no. I'm going. I want to do this door. Uh, what? You've been playing the confusion ending for 18. What? What? Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how. After a long this time, goes? Stanley dies? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing. What time are we on? Wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time to stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess I'm on the fifth one. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So that I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... If what the fuck? What the hell? Dude, I did not like that jump scare. I have a little too much pee inside me stored up right now for that to happen again. That was risky business. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. Shut up. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire I'm it. never going to see what's on the left. I don't care. Stanley felt lightheaded. Butterflies in his stomach. Huh? Giddy in a way he had never known before. That's new. Was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? I mean, yeah. truly, truly deeply, madly, love. That was weird. <laughs> that was a weird line. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Shut up. A room so up but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Meeting room. Tips for not Yet getting fired. Not a single person here either. <laughs> Feeling what? a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Hire someone to synergize papers. <laughs> Papers are too synergized. <laughs> fire paper guy. <laughs> Hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy. <laughs> Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the topic of blah, 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 blah. The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Reflect. Rate of increase in grass per slide. <laughs> what? Circle the top 20 things you love about your boss, the most about your boss. What? If you ever find yourself in conflict with another diligent employee like yourself, but more inclined toward conflict, unless you're the kind of person who incites conflict, why did we hire you? <laughs> Metamorphosis. Dreams for the future.
402 plus 405 want to get rid of the death sort portion and the primary review schedule but i think it's a stupid idea more water coolers more water cooler heaters charts need to be more hip to appeal to the teenage demographic find teenage urge to put in teenage demographic big net what it's got a child trap what the fuck kidnapping kids size of demographic teenagers space between the teenagers throw something in the bin idea bin this is an interesting room eight bird what is eight bird smiley face office party on friday My eyes Coming hurt. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Whoa. The boss works on this floor? What the hell? Executive bathroom. Yeah, baby. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Why is there a carpet in the bathroom? What the fuck is that? Why does that panda have a gun against his head? I'm not going to the boss's office. Fuck the boss. I quit. I'm going down. Or up. Or both. Good night, BRG. Thanks for watching. Oh, it just leads me right back. Okay, cool. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have. Yet, incredibly, by simply <laughs> pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the what? correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped yeah, into the lucky. newly opened passageway. I'm pretty lucky. This is kind of eerie. What the hell are they doing over here? At fucking the paper company what is this place so smart man I just, it's my natural intuition what's up Paula descending deeper into the building Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar it was a stirring of emotion in his chest as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, my thought process is if it's an escape there, there's no way they're going to actually put escape there. Maybe it's okay to be mind controlled. This kind of sounds cooler. I still don't get what's going on. Uh, you're not alone. You're not alone. I've been playing this for about 45 minutes now. <laughs> Clearly, it's all trying to escape a simulation, but... Although this passageway had the word escape <gasps> on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. 
that sounds worse than mind manipulation. Or better. Yeah, I'm gonna go die. Shall I rather die or be mind controlled? The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. That's a good, it's a good question. They give you a while to mull it over. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. You're being dramatic. It's not actually death. It said escape. It's different. Oh, that seems like that seems. Maybe I should. Let's see what happens. Oh, God. Huh? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Oh my God. Farewell, Stanley. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go back. Shit. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, <laughs> as Stanley was happening? led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Huh. Did I choose right? Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Are you the new narrator? When every path so you bright. Can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already oh. dead from the moment he hit start? Set up two open doors with the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable's design. Once this room is created, the rest of the game emerges as an extension of it, an exploration of contradiction. This room posed. Guess it doesn't matter what route you choose, you just die? No matter what? I got here fast. Makes sense in the regard that like no matter what you do, you're still gonna die? I don't know if it makes sense or not. The office one, two, and three. Button sounds. This seems you know what this seems like? It seems like an asset room. It's like there's credits. Wait, it's the end. Did I finish it? What? Maintenance room. Early version of the maintenance room. Put your butt on that and print it. Tell me what happens. Pixel Smith, dear narrator. How do you stay in shape? So, oh. Dink donk gay. Are you gay? What? Uh, all right. Art needs good censoring. I would like to, however, have some idea of how this would be censored in an... Okay, I can't read all this. Dear narrator, gay. How do you make a JRPG? How do you make the worst game ever? What's the difference between a duck? 
Dude, I think this is the craziest stream game you guys have convinced me to play because I have zero idea what's going on the second I think I do. What? Previous version, the choice leading to the apartment ending. A timer will give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone will lead to a different ending. This is just showing all the different endings I could have got. I did kill myself once. The cargo lift. Second version's functionality is the same. I want it to look more like a place where cargo is actually stored. Yeah, like a like a warehouse instead of that. Vent. Option one. Obey staircase. Disobey lounge. I disobeyed every time. Vent. I didn't see the vent though. Did I see the vent? Oh, this is the other one. Zending model. Went through many iterations. This room represents fourth version of the ending and it went through, we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it shortly before launch. Zending levers. These levers were originally a part of the Zending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color they had pulled. Okay. Why are you telling me all of this? Oh. Four major trailers over the course of the game's development each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one released on May 2012. It features a series of broken runes in the voice of the narrator and informing viewers he's preparing a new version of the series in Stanley Parable. Okay. Countdown desks. Model room elevators. <laughs> what? Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Off. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. I gotta see what happens. Do choose it. Don't I, let time choose. I, I, Don't let time. So narrator, narrator. Hello. Which phone is that? Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. Did I take an edible before this, or am I like... It's really not... Two inputs. This is brain bending. When Stanley came to a set of two open oh, doors, he entered the door on his left. God, no. This was not the correct way to the meeting He's room. He's back. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, 
perhaps too majestic, like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof was that? that he was human. Yes, really, really worth. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. How about this way? Duh, it's gonna bring me, to, bring me to the office ending again. What? Yet there was not a single person here either. <laughs> Feeling a way of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What is this? Hi, Bree. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in Can a single home? moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make <laughs> other strange observations. Coffee for nut. Example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Wait, true, I brought that why up did before. Doors close automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look <gasps> pretty familiar. Were they still repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. Yes. He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, this is lucid dreaming. Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy Coffee this night. while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he Whoa. imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all... It's like I am Stanley. lucid right now. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head <laughs> dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who <sighs> found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my <laughs> thoughts. Right. I can't do this. He thought it all very odd and wondered if I this voice spoke it. to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. I don't like this, man. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. I got a headache. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed this is the subathon. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. 
I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I am not okay. Stanley this began screaming. Oh. Please, <laughs> someone God? wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, <laughs> just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. The voices are so loud these days. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Dude, I can't with this game. I can't. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by Stanley. the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much <laughs> That's me. literally gonna be me! Everyone oh. knows what crazy people look like. It's gonna be me! And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. There ain't no fucking way I'm back in this. Dude, am I actually asleep? No, I'm being serious, guys. Wait, what if none of you are real and you're just all like the little guys I want in my head? Would that be a more of a commentary on how crazy I am or more of a compliment to you that I would want you guys in my head? All of his Might be both. Were gone. What could it mean? Oh my God! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. This Perhaps the he end is the never the end. You're, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I didn't see that, dude. Imagine I'm still working at a pharmacy. I'm a pharmacist. I married that crazy chick. Oh my God! The life could have been so different. Oh my God! You guys don't even understand, bro. Like, had I not have made a YouTube channel, I could have very well ended up being married to a literal crazy bitch. She has five children right now with somebody else. Five. You guys don't know how little their choices can alter the path of life sometimes. I'm serious. That's a real thing. Those are not my kids, by the way. But I'm saying with... She ended up having five kids in like eight years. She's not had the last one yet, but she's had she had physically had four. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fuck you, narrator. Fuck this dream. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. There is no game. And here it was, the lounge. I haven't heard of it. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. This is what Stanley thought. What a room. What a room, <laughs> what a room. What a room. Va va voom. What a room. <laughs> What a room, what a room, ba va voom. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, I walk on the here table. You sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. 
blah blah boom, water boom. It's literally my brain. I have to talk so much in a day that I'll just start saying noises. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Somebody's gonna have to find it. Maybe someone don't know what I'm talking about, but there's this one um this one video of Stanley this. sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. There's this guy who asks up a bajillion questions in a row. He's like, have you ever eaten at a seafood restaurant? What is your favorite type of body part? Like, it's just like a bunch of random questions in a row. That's literally what I have to do every day. I run out of words, so I have to be like, chat, what is your literal worst fear in life? <laughs> I just start cycling through the questions. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. The most obscure the random open ones. Door on his left to get back to business. Let's go back. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay, I'm gonna go to my boss's office again. Who's your favorite Dendro character? Yeah, that's what it felt like. Either. When that Feeling chatter kept asking. Disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I kind of want to go back to the office. I don't want to repeat the bottom one because it was so long. Is the bathroom the same? Sometimes you'll have chats like that, and you just kind of you gotta entertain it for a little bit because everybody wants to talk to their their streamer. Not everybody, but some people do. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was Look, caught have by a keypad behind Mary. the boss's desk. What could F Mary kill? be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret <laughs> number. 2845. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer power. You get it, oh. Amazing. Well, you probably he wouldn't get it. He stepped into the newly <laughs> opened passageway. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> the second half of that joke is so much funnier. Oh man, <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing, man. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which character do you hate? I'll be nice about it though when there's questions like that because I get Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read mind control facility Can I kill myself again? All right, I'm gonna do this one. I'll see what happens Well <gasps> No, I didn't mean Aha You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome. You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior <laughs> about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So... Here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending oh, if that enhances your perception of the this, value man. of these updates. Isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? 
We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track, Good Job You Made It To The Bottom Of The Mind Control Facility. Well done. Yeah, 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 oh. Good job, you did it. <laughs> Good job. Job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. This is kind of good though. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful. You should have been careful. I didn't mean to fall. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending. Now, and now it's, it's an ending. ending. I, I believe, believe in you. I believe in your yeah, ability yeah, yeah. to cross this barrier. Chase your dreams. Is this Tame and Paula? Railings don't mean anything. No, Good this job. is bleachers. Good job, you did it. This actually Good sounds job. like bleachers. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Good job. I'm not joking. Good job, you did it. 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 That was worth it. That was really good. That was hilarious. Help. Help me. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. When Stanley came to a set Shut of two up. open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly I well. I will never Perhaps go there. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> That's all you gotta say? It was okay. Nothing else? Okay. It was okay. It's okay. Yes, really. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back Wait, on what track. was the code again? 2845? Yet there was not a single person here either. I forget. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Stanley was in such a rush to get through <laughs> the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments okay. with some calming new age music. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, yeah, I got to Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley comes oh, better. Thank you. Into the opened passageway. This is so dumb. All right, this time I go to the mind control and then I don't die. I did not mean to die last time. Are we Zen right now? Zen more like Papa Zen. You know what I'm saying? Wait, is, are those things called Zins? Nicotine packs? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. What? I don't know what you're saying. Look up ZYN. They're like, like nicotine patches you put in your mouth. <laughs> we lost them. The lights rose on an enormous Whoa. room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'm down. Camera? Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. That's where I was Each before. Each the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. 
the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen and standing yeah, that's what it is. one of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing so many cameras i'll have if the subathon keeps going you guys keep this thing going long enough this is how many cans we're gonna set up eventually i'm gonna bring back the overhead bed cam we're gonna have a desk cam toilet cam This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been <laughs> manipulated to accept it blindly? I mean, where else am I gonna go? There's no, a lot of POVs. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. What's His that own one? life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Can somebody clean up that pee real quick? Thank you. I did every button. I have OCD. <gasps> Big red button. That has to light up somehow. What is that button right there? This is my first playthrough. Sorry. I can't do one at a time. It's how I was born. <laughs> one, two, two, one. Console disabled. How do I start you? I haven't bought us getting three flashbacks. Yeah, that's my bad. System offline. I hit every button in this facility. I like buttons, bro. We oh got I forgot to blink. Good night, Dana. Baldur's Gate 3 was tough for the buttons. <clears throat> my control is idle awaiting input. Can I make a song out of last, it? He found the source of the room's... <laughs> <laughs> Is it over? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? That's what I asked. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, Freedom. what to do, or how to feel. Freedom! Whatever life he lives, it will be his. It's beautiful. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing.
Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Is that what the tr- Why am I back? I beat the game. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This is just like the multi- you gotta find all the endings kind of thing or there really is no end to this game. New content. Oh, new content? What does that mean? New content. Who's gonna tell him what? The subathon was supposed to end! Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. That's what I paid $10 for. Know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After that. receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable that is the real Deluxe ending. features oh. exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Ultra oh, Deluxe. Well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Surely for 10 extra dollars. It was like eleven dollars, and it was twenty-four after that. Um, is it broken? <laughs> what's going on here? Should we, should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Let's go, narrator. You're my best friend. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's <laughs> as if them. Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. The content, baby. The All jump right. circle. All right. Let's see. It's the jump oh! circle. They're out of jump. Oh. Ho can I jump outside of this? I'm only allowed to jump 30 times? Maybe I shouldn't use it all in one go. Maybe I should bring it back later. I think I should save my jumps for later. I'll make it 25 because that's how old I am, you know? Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Fuck it, I'll use it all right now. Jumping jacks get tiring out here, man. Never skip a leg day, though. Never skip a leg day. It just goes away. Stupid ass game. <laughs> they want to, like, let you get it out. Yeah, get it out of your system. Good Go gosh. jump. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. <laughs> it's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, 
There's more. Thank God. Very good. Yeah. Don't tell me it's more jumping, I right? I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying the nuke. That's it? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? <laughs> This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them <laughs> personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content. I'm afraid it could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about? No frills, no gimmicks, just no you jumping. And me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? I want you to get out of my fucking head. Please. <laughs> Don't put me back in that room. Oh. Well, it's my room, but... Different. Hold on, bro. I've been holding pee inside of me for like an hour. Go wrap it real quick. Sorry, I had to get my sweet treat. Can't find my switch. Is it in your bathtub? The original game. What? <laughs> what? Come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. I don't trust you. <laughs> oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? What the fuck? I did not pay 10 extra dollars for this game to insult me. Hello? You're a dork anyway. Bro, it sounds like Mercer wrote this game. <laughs> You're a dork. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the <laughs> meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Was the vent the new content that I just skipped? And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. I'm gonna hit the on button this time in the, yeah, in the, there was in the not office. a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his <laughs> boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley More walked like upstairs TV. to his boss's office. Two, four, eight... Two, eight, okay, four, I think five. we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets. Oh. The keypad. Stanley pushes some <laughs> buttons. Oh, hey, look. It's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Kill surprise. 
Save us some time here. <laughs> Tips for not getting fired is wild. If you actually read that stuff in the room, it says stop talking or something like that. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, <gasps> Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom ain't nothing, brother. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah. No. He refused yeah. to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in <laughs> someone else's too control? Close to the... <laughs> Never. It was Microphone. unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even on an arm. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I feel like 90% of the time the I'm just clicking my mouse. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. How do I turn walking, this on? Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I'll go back through and turn it on this time. Wait, one. How do I reset the numbers? I hit one, two. Where was three at again? I lost three. Wait, what's this? It's locked. One, two, three. Four, five? Four's up there. What the fuck? Hmm. I would spam refresh or like Excel. Take a while to open, so I'd spam it like 40 Excel windows get it up. Yeah, I just like, I like the feeling of how it feels when I click something. I don't like these. I don't know what's getting at, okay. Yeah, you can have a Steam appearance if you open a game on my friends list. So far, nobody's opened up furry feet, which is good. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? I After did. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, God. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, 
two minutes. Huh? Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You oh. are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to oh. enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious oh, shit. moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What colors? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. What color makes red and uh, uh, blue? Summers before you're obliterated. Blue. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. What the I'll fuck? I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then die. Blue alone. makes blue. That's true. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn <laughs> to a crisp. The fuck? I say this, though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control <laughs> wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I hate to the see 40 it seconds? Go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. <sighs> my goodness, only 34 seconds oh left. Oh my god! But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. How much? 140? Okay, that's These good. These are precious additional seconds. Let's do this. We'll do Mine this. Doesn't grow on trees. One, oh two. Dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be Shut doing right now? Shut the fuck right up, now? narrator! Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Yes. I mean, look at you. Running from buttons Shut to the button, fuck up! Screen to screen. What? Taking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. This something here will me. save me. Why would you say that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? They're all wall numbers. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you <laughs> have left music. to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then... <laughs> what the no fuck is this? Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe this is crazy. Me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment oh. we fade oh. in until the moment Dude. I say <laughs> up. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. That was terrible. Okay, the narrator is kind of an asshole. Kind of an asshole. Should I go directly back and do it again? Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Will there be something new if I go break the room again? <laughs> or is he just going to like, I don't want to go through the same thing twice. Usually it would be. Can I go back out? So none of the codes work. I don't trust your little fucking vent. Coffee nut. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away what here where this? the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. 
It's an oasis. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind <laughs> you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. This is kind of cool. That's what it was released on, the Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. Audience Award. 2014 Independent Games Festival. Good times. <laughs> Memory Zone is my favorite route. This is interesting. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of Stanley Parable in 2013. It's like a fever dream. Smile because it happened. One dollar. Can I play this? Go outside, don't play for five years. These are actual awards I got? Deals tough choices. Can I actually jump off or no? Oh. Little Stanley. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives <laughs> and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And Persona. now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Bro, we're getting deep here. Where'd the French music go? I was fucking with that. I like that. The original was down here. Memory zone maintenance. What does that sound like? Birds. This game is very, it breaks my brain. Smiley button. Collector's discs. Can't open it. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers guide. some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Wow. Yeah, I thought he did. The Serious Room, <laughs> 2013. The Serious Room. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. What? I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's that? Steam here? reviews. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. He's got to be I nasty. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Vile shit. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh, shit. Hit me in the face. Ow. 
Honestly, I could not be bothered Bog to play this live game before Olivia. completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Jesus, this is so deep. It breaks your brain. That one person playing this game being like, shit, my review got put in the game. <laughs> it's a genius concept. Is that? Okay. Unfunny. Here's some more ne more negative ones. Blurred them out though. Oh, here's one. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers <laughs> non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me no. if I'm preachy. Honestly, no. you can. No. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Bro, the guy's in his head. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Oh. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Not everybody's going to love everything you do, man. It's okay. I've been there a lot. It's okay, man. I just want to give him a virtual hug. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. From Cookie Nine. <laughs> a skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive what the reviews hell? of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. No, I'll pop you forward no. in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with I just like the push you. of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, Kinshin that's Impact what they're could going never. to do. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. No, I Here, like you. We'll it's okay. We'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story, and oh the choices, <laughs> or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time, everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction, therefore, becomes impossible to manufacture, it went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward We're and the back, and words. never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's <laughs> the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say, the story and the choices are what oh, it's happened, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, stop. until inevitably. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes <laughs> and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, Genius. I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. 
Can I stop? <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go Didn't off on a never, this display really? of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say <laughs> about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review. Cookie or at least Nine, please. Some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become <laughs> better educated on exactly this how Steam so works. This is so funny. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this This is my situation. review. <laughs> yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular <laughs> user the ability to change their review. What's going on again? Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 40 minutes. I didn't even notice the clock. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. <laughs> Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness, I have someone to talk to again. <gasps> Stanley, I, oh I think God. it's been a week or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. It's withered. And you think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every branching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe if you can hear me, then maybe it uh, means I'm real. What the hell maybe is... Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. That if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. Oh my god, it's dark. Oh, hello, it's you. You're here again. <laughs> Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. How much time? I stopped keeping track I... of every year. More than have a year? you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. I'm gonna hit it again. To begin with, there is only regret. Pro keeps calling. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing. I felt bad but though. Regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. The clock's broken. I lost broken. it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see battery power. clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust, simultaneously. I was consumed by it, 
I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity, for what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the... Buddy? Buddy? What? Is he... I... Huh? Stop! Stop doing that! It's so loud! Why is it so loud? But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human it's condition. So but where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, Oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to represent us. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people. Because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would have to face inward toward the cruel bleakness inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness gazing back with unyielding aggression. And so, point. so because of this... We require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn our heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect, we have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human spirit they project. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about any of this. I'm at peace with it. I am the calm center of gravity around which these perversions hurl themselves. I am a waypoint for reasonable and collected discourse. They're the ones who are mad. They're the ones who couldn't stand the idea of me using my game to try to say something. Maybe they were just jealous of me. Yes, yes of course. <laughs> They've been jealous of me this whole time. They are mired in fear and insecurity and cannot help but attempt to tear me down. What a sad state of affairs. When you read these reviews now, you can see it. You can taste the bitter resentment. And my, how good does it feel now to speak truth to these words, to finally allow these thoughts out, contained and managed for so long, neutered and sterilized. At last I am free to truly think to feel it must be that they were so discontent with themselves they couldn't help but leave a negative review on steam perhaps it says far more about them than it ever said about me perhaps the state of their psychological being was in such tatters How long and my does constitutional it go? willpower skip. are so ironclad in comparison oh, perhaps it was this okay. state that they sought some outlet through which to tear me down this, you can see, is clearly why they felt the need to expect that the game be funny, that it be filled with yucks and whimsical okay. humor, that okay. it amuse them endlessly from start to finish. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a... The silence is resounding. <laughs> 
What are these times I'm just gonna kill him? The end is never the end. 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 Shit, I don't know. He got it like that though. The end is never the end. 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 Water now seeping through the cracks. How long have I been here, bro? Oh, oh. Uh oh. Natural disaster starting to happen around us. No longer a safe room. <gasps> it's daytime. How we doing, streamer? Pretty good, man. Get my brain racked by this deep philosophical button. Life is gonna start growing around me. Is the narrator dead? Is he gone? Button fall after the never the end and never never the end that really sent him over the edge finally after what the fuck <laughs> narrator you there hello you didn't give up on me did you End is never the end, is never the end, the end is never the end, and never the end. End is never the end, is never the never the end, is never the My God. <laughs> so there really is truthfully never an end ever. Like this will just keep going until you find every possible ending, right? That's crazy. That's insane. There's like so much content to be played through. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh my God. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You know what the one thing I never did was? Ever? That wasn't there last time. New, new content? Oh good, you noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. One thing I never did was the original office. <laughs> like going into the original office place. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further, which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> oh my god, the end is never the end, it never the end, yes, it's never the see, end. Isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. 
off painting K tot TGA. Parable two is just so much catchier than ultra deluxe, don't you think? Ultra deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable two. Now that's an artistic statement. Bird. Right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term busted new hotness. <laughs> cool red chart, <laughs> red section of the chart. <laughs> <laughs> Boring sections of the chart. Cool red section of the chart. Hi, bird. The color red. Leverage. Holistic value. <laughs> Synergy. <laughs> Brick and mortar approach. Yeah, the color red is trying to speak to us through modern, modern vibes. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features <laughs> I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more the of a fuzzy magic than anything it. scientific or logical, really. What is Blood even saying? It's what I've been saying, man. Who took the red marker? Me. I like how they had so many different iterations of two. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Batman Arkham Asylum 2, City. <laughs> Divinity Original Sin 2, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, and Dark Souls 2. The end is never the end. The never the end is never the end. New features. Is that a bus? The end is never the end. <laughs> Ido is now playing a difficult game about climbing. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Hear your name in the game. How do I try that out? I'll hit two. No. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is <laughs> that they want small. to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Does it know my name? My tag? No way, right? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, <laughs> the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this uh... button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. I'm RPing. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Okay. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Right. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world. Jim. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold <laughs> on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, <laughs> it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again. And this time, let me finish Who is first. Big Bitch <clears throat> Brenda on <clears throat> Steam? Now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> it's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Oh, Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? Jim. I want to be Jim again. Jim. See, if you'd only played along, Jim. that would have Jim. been your Jim. name the button says. Jim. But no. Jim. Instead, oh, Jim. I can't even think about it. I'm taking the Jim button away. Jim. No! 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 Jim. No! Jim. Jim. No! Jim. Jim. No! No! Fuck! Took my button away, man. I don't like how leathery that couch is. Jim. 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 
That's what you get, Stanley. Sometimes maybe I forget that I'm Stanley. Maybe only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. I need Jim's in chat. would appreciate what I've created here. And the epilogue. epilogue. Would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. What the? That's me. Stanley. Free achievement, infinite hole, setting world champion. Let's go this way. I am Jim now. No screenshots, please. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. What? Which would you go with? Um. Happy 12th birthday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday uh, what? it is. What? The fuck? Man, fuck you, narrator. Get well someday. Or well, actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I made my decision. We're moving on. Is that a real QR code? Can you actually check that out? It actually leads to their website. <laughs> it's the real website. The end is never the end. The never the end. The never the end. Stanley Parable 2 Reassurance Bucket. A common the end complaint is never of the Stanley end. Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's, it's just cold. a bucket. What? As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring well cognitive someday. dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. <laughs> Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? <laughs> yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. It's an emotional support Come bucket. Give it a try. <laughs> Can What's you that feel laugh, it? bro? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? It's just a poop bucket, bro. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Wait, you think so? The like, actually? The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? Actually? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. This is kind of like, I'm going to keep this bucket. I'm not putting this down. This is my bucket now. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Most enjoyable bucket. <laughs> Damn, I kind of look good with this bucket. Shit, I mean, I don't mean to brag, but... Red is the new orange. Oh my god, they're going so... Pediatrician with it. The new update, Ray Trace, more of the same, but in a good way. Sequel to the new content, new features, new ideas. Jump circle, infinite hole. Oh, yeah, we did try the jump circle already. New and free, easy achievement. Get it here. Don't mind if I do. The bucket is clanging. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? 
Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever and when you pull... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stan. But I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world this is who have been game uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. Take and I their time. It will they don't give any set dates. There's like, it will happen. It's giving companion cube vibes. <laughs> Where's my fucking achievement, bro? What the hell? How do I drop this bucket? <laughs> I wouldn't want to because it would make me look less high, but. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? That's new. Ah, collectibles. Wow. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. Huh? I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh. It's kind of cool, though. Zero. There's six of these. Now I feel like I had to get all six of these. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of feel like I need to get all of them. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. What is this navigation room, bro? I saw these. Exit. Everyone switches to Overwatch. I've already been playing, bro. Where you been? All right. I'm not lying. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Briefcase. That's a cool piece of art. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. I thought I got them all. Oh. Can I go back? Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Oh. Hold on. Let Button me do a different hole. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. What here the hell, buddy? Version 2. I don't like it better. Uh, There's two holes. Two holes are better than one. Stanley. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says so with bold and uncompromising Yo. conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. Let him cook. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice. Looks creepier? Is it better, technically, now? Click this to skip. This is the story of a man named Oh, Stan. my God. It's the, just the original one again. <laughs> Stanley worked for a company in the balloons, building, the balloons. where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. 
He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Does believe in and stinky cheese? Might have considered what? Standing Are you saying? Every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Who's <laughs> that cheddar? Okay. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. The Stanley Bearable too. Something that would change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived. All of his co-workers It's the gone. same as always. Get Stanley well. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket, bucket. Stanley picked comfort up the bucket. bucket. I feel so comforted now. Oh my god, I feel hotter too. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his. We're mind. not going to change our paths anymore. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. I ain't changing the pads. That the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. The bucket was <laughs> wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. What other routes are in here? Which had like a map to see. To the stinky or not stinky cheese? That's the question. Cheese is my favorite emote. And so the two of them That's a pretty good emote. The Keep going. Section and walk straight ahead to the opposite door. I thought there's only two endings down that way, but I don't know what to expect in this game. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now. I know the boss's now. office is down Perhaps this way, and then also the downstairs. To a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I kind of like this room. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his Oh my his god. Boss, admitting he had left his that, 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 post this during This is a really workouts. long loop. Might be fine for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. Oh my god, it's gonna happen then, again. It's gonna be such a long something loop. Something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. It's like the longest one. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. <laughs> the bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. And that's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, <laughs> everyday bucket. What? Someone else's bucket, perhaps. No. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. My Who buckets? knows what sorts of bizarre buckets? hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And my bucket. Floating off the ground. Oh my God! The same story, just with a bucket. Now there ain't no Without fucking my way. Bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? <laughs> I must find me. it. Far off in the distance. Now he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. <laughs> this is genius. Oh my God! He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. No. None of them were his my special bucket. bucket. My bucket. My Stanley, find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, <gasps> bucket. he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Huh? Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> this video game is real, Mariella man. Woke up on a day like this isn't real. She arose, 
got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, I and put a bucket on my head. <laughs> but on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, oh and then collapsed God. dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> right away, she knew what the problem was. Bucket was up his ass. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad. Ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion And it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place How cruel the world can be Mariella thought and she hugged her own bucket even tighter <laughs> But of course she had no time for this there were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. Oh, man. Why did I bring my bucket, man? Fuck! My bucket was the solution. <laughs> this is just gonna be infinite. I never, ever, ever. I have not one time. Stanley's office was a distant memory. Gone to the what right did place. It look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms and a wave of <sighs> comfort rushed over him. Should I take the bucket to a different place? What where should I take the bucket now? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest Get and entered something. the door on his left. <laughs> this is a, I'm never going to the door on the left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. This time I go the straight. Was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No said the bucket <laughs> don't go to the meeting room go somewhere else the cargo lift yes go there go to the cargo lift cargo lift no <laughs> so fucking stupid good bro. said the bucket now ride the lift all the way to the top there's something up there i need you to do <laughs> okay stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him it should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley <laughs> chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Thanks for the follow. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. This dark room right here, sir? Oh my god, it's my wife again. Now pick up the phone. No! Said the pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. I don't want to do it. I don't want to live with you anymore. Cigarettes. Cigarette PNGs. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely. I could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Hey, buddy. And honey, buddy. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press exit. Take me to work with you. Okay. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Take me back home with you. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? 
To see him delusional like this, <gasps> obsessing Fury. over an inanimate metal object? I'll look at I it. I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. H. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. Yes, it's yes. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't up, do Kamori? anything else. Nice to meet you. You. Well, well, you well. See, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the uh, bucket. bucket. You know, once bucket. upon a time, it was me bucket. he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. His stupid hunk of metal. To ignore anyone in your life except for me. What the hell? It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. I live for the from bucket. On, the bucket he's only. Just to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket this is a metaphor Ooh. for like marriage well, this. the bucket does have a nice shine to it don't look at my bucket like that it's yes, my I bucket on closer inspection but it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket it's pretty hot it's just a little more um what am i trying to say sturdier more capable of transporting liquid hey back like the fuck be up moving an amount of water from one room to another it's a good bucket Relive the same day with me over and over. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a yeah, bucket. you like it too, it's huh? It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? H to go home. Oh no. Uh oh. I'm, I'm having feelings. Uh, the bucket. Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Get the WD-40 out. You're about to become a cum bucket. <laughs> oh my god. Stanley, give me the bucket. No! Give it to me. Give no! me the bucket, Stanley. No! I need it. Give She's it to me now. Out. Give it or I'll. I was in love with her. probably so many more endings to find bro but i've been playing for like three hours <laughs> we got a new chiori stuff to look at a so soft wind blew outside and oh. perhaps rain started and if it did it stopped shortly after stanley hoped that he would one day see weather there's more new things every time you walk out your door though so it's like impossible to stop playing as much as it's a good game there's definitely a part two possibility but i found so many like already endings Damn, really good though for a first experience. Now I gotta get all the hype. It's like endless. It's endless amount of content. It's very funny.